I'm streaming Genesis. As you can see, this is obviously not Genesis, this is in defense of Kairos. So let me scroll down. We are here. Like previously, we visited the Royal Palace basically. Or more like we invaded it. And we found out that everyone, like literally everyone, except the mages had been replaced by Yuura demons. Which also explains why the heck uh, the human leadership made such weird decisions. It's, it's like as the fairy said, it's as, as Yumi and Aya said, it wasn't that the humans went crazy, they just had been replaced. And Hello Brazilian guy. Anyway, we've gone past that. We also discovered the illusory angel, uh, but they fled and if I'm correct we are about to chase them down. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. Yeah, still chasing. Uh, right, uh, Ayo also said that Yumi really has uh, so spill what she knows now and uh, that's why they were looking for a place where they could just talk without being overheard. I guess we should find someone more secluded than this. Follow me. That way. Why are you so, ner why are you so nervous, Yumi? It's just us. Okay, Yumi, talk. Hmm. Is it wise to tell her? I... Hello, did you hear me? She will become part of your nightmare. If you allow her to enter your thoughts, she will be in danger. But, Yumi... I said I would tell her. <sighs> I'm getting tired of this. I'm tired of being hunted by the demons day and night, and I'm sick of not knowing who I can trust. And the way you keep secrets from me. Sometimes it feels like I can't trust you either. But... But... It will become her problem as well. Better frustrated than dead. I, I can't say it. <sighs> Seriously? How many times are we going to have to go, uh, go through this? It's always the same story. You can't tell me because any uh, can't tell me anything because if I sucked in, if I got sucked into your mess, I'll be in danger, in danger too, and blah blah blah. But it's true. No, no, it's absolutely not. I've put up with this for long enough. Stop being a little brat. Tell me what you know. What are these blue demons? Who sent them here and why are they after us? I... I... don't know. Yes, you do. At this point, your excuse of being shy is not going to cut it either. I'm not trying to make excuses. You're just like a spoiled child. I've given you so much time and space, yet you still haven't come up with even one coherent sentence about why you're keeping all these secrets, let alone your idiotic behavior. Ryo. But no matter what I say, you just won't listen. It's like my feelings don't even matter to you. You might think that you're protecting me by keeping me in the dark, and maybe that's true, but don't you think I can be the judge of that? Hmm? I can't tell you. You're kidding. How do you expect me to trust you when you act like this? At least have the decency to look at me while I'm talking. Come on, stop this juvenile behavior. Ugh. Sometimes I wonder why, why we are even friends. I can't stand you when you get like this. You always say you want to be left alone and you, t and you tell us to stay out of it. Like, seriously, if you keep saying that forever, I might as well just leave. 
There's no point in trying to talk to someone who doesn't even care at all. I shouldn't even bother with you. I shouldn't, but like... I... I... You me? Oh my god. She ran away. You me? You me? Um... You there? I was just so frustrated. I didn't mean to yell like that. I'm so stupid. I can't believe I let my emotions get out of control like that. <sighs> I... I need to look for her. Looks like I finally caught up. Are you? You look distraught. Did something happen? Where's Yumi? Is the... Where's Yumi? I kind of blew up at her, being so secretive and not telling us anything. You what? I cast her out. Oh, Esther, you can't believe I yelled at her like that. I must have made her feel terrible. You what? I'm so, so stupid. Oh, you just had to. I'm sorry. <sighs> What's done is done. Right now we need to look for her. It looks like there's a couple of paths leading away from here, so it will be, it will be faster if you split up. Some of the fairy decided to come, so ask a few of them to help you look. Hester, don't get me wrong. I still think it's ridiculous how much trouble you two get in when I leave you alone, but her first priority is finding Yumi. You know how reckless she gets when she's upset. Upset. I know. And it looks like you'll feel bad enough already, so a lecture from me isn't really going isn't really going to help. Just, just find her and bring her back safely, okay? Ah, yo. She hates you. She doesn't. She's sick of you being the way you are. She's tired of taking care of you. No. You're just a burden to her. You s she said it herself. Just give up. There's no point anyway. You cannot protect them. And by, resist by resisting the way you are, you're just making everyone's lives miserable. You're just hurting her, you know. If you keep up like this, she really won't care about you anymore. It's not like they know the whole picture. Why bother? They'll all die in the end. She wants to cherish them while they still live. Letting them into that little head of hers will only accelerate the process. What does it matter? She cannot protect them indefinitely. And this way, they will not hate her. Ariel already does. Mm -mm. She is stubborn. She always resists. Even with the void encroaching on her mind already, she tries to face it alone, in order to keep everyone else safe from it. She wants to try, but it will kill them sooner or later. No, I won't let it. <clears throat> Relax, I'm just here to talk. You want to take my friends away from me? <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be able to just like that. It's not like this projection of mine can actually do anything. I just want to talk to you. Listen to me. The void grows more powerful day by day. You've seen what it can do to your world already. Just a tiny sliver seeping through the cracks, and you already were nearly overwhelmed trying to stop it. If we let it keep growing, it will destroy us all completely. The other Gurnians aren't even trying to stop it. Uriah doesn't even care. He's too busy holed up at the Well of Life, trying to manipulate it in the tree to preserve his own soul. 
He'd sooner leave us to rot than risk trying to save us. And everyone else would rather buy into slice than think for themselves. So, it's up to me to stop it. But I can't do it alone. I need your help. Look at me. No, look at me. I need to know that you're listening to me. I won't ask twice. Don't give me that face, Brad. I'm not going to play these games with you anymore. I know what you are, and I know you can be useful to me. It is in your best interest to cooperate. Cooperate. Why would I be useful to you? I'm just a fairy. No, you're not. Fairy are physical beings who are birthed by the, from the Tree of Life like almost everything else in our universe. You three are something else. You're made of pure energy that didn't come from a tree or from any of the guardians. You are from somewhere else entirely. Maybe you don't know the details, but you know I'm telling you the truth. Eh. Don't you get it? That means you're a completely separate embodiment of an aspect. While I can't absorb the power of, the, of other aspects that stem from the Tree of Life, I have the ability to utilize yours because you don't come from the tree. So? So, if you free lend me your powers, I might be able to figure out a way to stop the Void from consuming us all. If you don't, we'll just all die miserably. She's telling the truth, but not entirely. She's not saying how she intends to use our powers? Please, you have to help me. Nobody else trusts me. They all treat me like a child because I'm the younger, youngest. They think I'm a lunatic. It's the same with you, isn't it? But that's because they haven't seen it. Not like you and I have. Your nightmares are visions of the future, where all creation is slaughtered in a mess of blood and darkness, and chaos consumes the world. They won't believe me. Half of the others aren't even aware of it, while the rest think it can be stopped. Gerard knows the truth, but he doesn't care to help us. I have no one else to confide in. I need you free to help me. I should, but I can't right now. Magic. She'll be back later. Just a moment. Yeah, obviously there's a puzzle to solve and I will... Uh, uh, but before that I just have... Like, I noticed a couple of missing words in, in the dialogue and uh, I would like to report it before I forget it. I uh, probably just should have made screenshots, but too late, too late, too late. Ashen hurts. So yeah, this is going to take up to five minutes of nothing happening. Um, but yeah, I'm. It's not like I'm gone or anything. Actually, no. I'm just gonna write out that I found two to three missing words, and that I will look for them after the stream. Okay, then let's go off to puzzle, I suppose. Her voice whipped in a lonely melody. It started low in a muted tone, then rose to a brittle crystalline tone. She breathed and the song dropped, just a little lower before finally to return to its original tone. She hummed the four-note sequence over and over, crying it out into the darkness. So basically, low... High, middle, low. That's probably the high one. Okay, that, that is the middle one and that's the high one. That's the low one. So, low, high, middle, low. Yep. Well, that was not too difficult. 
Yumi, Yumi, you you here? I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you. I'm such a jerk. Ayel? Hey, I have overheard you and Issa talking. Are you okay? Ugh. Come on, you need to, rela to relax a bit. You look so stressed. That's not an excuse. I can't believe I yelled at you me like that. I've never done anything any done anything like that before. Did you make her cry or something? Or Yumi doesn't cry. She doesn't show any emotion at all in case you noticed. I've always wondered about that. She's a little different. It's not like she doesn't have emotions, but they're all twisted and warped and she never lets them show. I don't know. She's really hard to read, but it's just... You know, she always used to run to me whenever she needed to be cheered up. And now, she's running away uh, from me because she doesn't trust me. It can't be true. I don't know. Even for me, it's often hard to tell what she thinks. She's not very outwardly expressive. She's really shy. I don't think she's said even a full sentence to me yet. She has a lot of unpleasant secrets. I understand why she hides them. The only reason I nag her about it is because she's, well, she's precious to you. Especially since you're two of a kind. Uh, what did you just say? You're, um, well, you, Yumi and Esther aren't regular fairy, right? It's why you all care about each other so much. N not that's, that that's the only reason, of course. Of course you notice. I should have expected that, being a hybrid yourself and you're more attuned to others who are different. Ha! You knew that all along? That I was part fairy? Of course. I might not be as good as Yumi at this kind of stuff, but I'm no slouch either. I just kind of didn't really want to bother you about it. You were obviously trying to fit in with the rest of the humans, and it can be a sensitive is issue. Like with you. Yeah. Sorry. I shouldn't have brought it up. It kind of just slipped out since, well, I was thinking about your relationship with Yumi. For the record? I don't only I don't only care. No, I don't only care about Easter and Tiff because we are three of a kind. I care about them because they're my friends. And Easter and I are especially protective of Yumi because well she is who she is. You understand. Yeah, I do. She's just so quiet. I can't imagine what goes on in her head. I feel like she'd go to pieces if she were left alone, and she doesn't have a good sense of danger. Either dead, or she doesn't ca doesn't care about putting herself in danger. If we weren't around to protect her, she'd end either dead or totally miserable. I can't let that happen. That's why we've, I've got to find her. I'm here to help. Thanks. You're pretty cool for a human. Even if I'm not totally human, I'll take it as a compliment. Now, let's go find Yumi. Yeah. Victory, find Yumi. Obviously not that way, because we came from there just now. Um, demons? But they look way different than the ur demons who've been attacking Kaya Leon. Definitely not like, the de uh, like any demons I've ever seen. It feels like the energies coming from them are composed of multiple elements. Oh yeah, that, that one looks cool. A mere fairy like you has the ability to escatain our nature? A mere fairy? Don't give me that. You might be strong, but even you will still find that we are more than a match for you. We shall see. I don't really want to get bogged down here now, but looks like we have no choice but to fight. Can't just leave them here to ambushes later. Yeah, 
But with how many undead they've got, we might need some help. I can summon more some undead of my own if we could get through the keep. Some of the fairy troll followed me and they sat down here just in case. Let's get the let's get the guilds to help us. So defeat all enemies and first of all what the heck is this? There's no information available. Great. But yeah, as you can see, uh light magic, like I can magic and sort of dark magic which is usually cold damage magic. Oh! Oh, there's two of them! Just great. So that's a castle, that's a, not a castle. Okay, they've got one shadow. Uh, and yeah, that's okay. And what kind of units? Like true strike, whatever. Even tide. Uh, it reminds you of your tender and Ralta. Ah, Yalta. There we are. That's two loyal units that are completely fair, I think. Well, let's see if Talia can survive this. Yep, there's the shadow I thought it would. Yeah. That one is also not that unexpected. Snap! There's a lot of enemies. More than I... Uh, more than I suspected for sure. At least there's one down there as well, and I really not don't like that. So I guess let's just try slowing those guys first. Um, remove. This one there to heal, I guess. And now I need more. I wonder if they share an income pool or not. Oh, there's a shadow. Well, let's remove it. Okay, try to move. I mean. And. Oh, come on! There's... it's way too many of them. I hate that they're literally coming from everywhere right now. Awkward! Oh, I see they're spawning. They're not just... They're not being recruited, some of them, but some of them are literally only spawning and nothing else. Well, that sucks. In that case, I will also move back in turn. Because I thought I have to block those guys over there. Oh no, they're recruiting. Uh, but if they're literally only spawning, then uh, yeah, it's a different story. then I don't have to block them all at the same time or whatever, I just have to block some of them. Um, first of all, let's remove those and let's destroy this guy first. And this is also a bit more defensible, to be honest. Actually... Let me try something. Like... What if I just did this? I mean, they also have a keep, so why not? Oh, come on. Supposed to be hit. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, okay, not worth it. Oh snap, I forgot about that. That hurts of course a lot. Bye! Like Aya can kill them in droves, so that's nice. Tch. 
even if you beat one of them, they are a lot stronger than your regular demons. Whatever they are, they might become a real problem in the future. You're telling me. I feel like a direct hit from their magic would rip me apart. It very well might. Be careful. I will do. So now is the question, can he recruit staff? Yes, she can. In that case, let's... Oh, I... I cannot recruit? Okay, interesting. Interesting take. Um, Ah, snap. Now I can no longer move Aya. Get this. Oh, I see. I do have to remove this guy first. Heal her. Ah, okay. Not as perfect as I had hoped. But as you can see, this is still a pretty good thing. Nice. Sure, I lose this guy, but uh, that's worth it. I. I've, I've removed one of the enemy leaders already, and I have no power, but like, I've got a situation that's much easier to defend than what I had previously. Like, way easier. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And die. Like, and, like, I'm in a position that is no longer sandwiched between people. And yeah, that's also that's already a pretty great win. Spoiled. Your tender and Yalda check. Do I have a wraith? I do, so I can actually replace that loss. Okay. Then let's keep going. Oh, yeah, okay. Makes sense that there are probably some night gods or shadows running around right now. Let's replace the spectra first of all. Okay, that's a lot of shadows. Okay. But it's doable. That's a good thing. Like, if they only come from one direction, it is. Still a huge upgrade. Yeah. Give it to her. Oh, there's another one. Well, let's remove that one. That's kind of why I have them here. And is there... Uh, not you? There was less heal than I thought, but whatever. Ow! You okay? Peachy, but fine. I guess that was the demons doing? Seems like it. We've got to beat them to stop their spell. Okay, so this one is probably this. Is hopefully the last one of them? I sure hope so. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's gonna get annoying fast. Ooh. K. 
can attack Fry's Pigeon. Oh, nice. Uh, Pierce. Oh, snap. Counter Strike. Oh, this is all really, really cool. I'm gonna take this one because this is cooler. Like, that means overtime. Yeah. The more hits I, uh, I do, the less resistance to that kind of damage they have, and I love that idea. And I would like to level up this one. Also, block of those two places. Yeah, I thought so. I'm glad that I accounted for that. And I suppose this deals damage, I guess. Like, I haven't quite figured out what kind of damage this is supposed to deal. Just that it does deal damage. Okay, not this one, I suppose. Okay, that's a shame. That is a real shame. Yeah, I'm kind of trying to leave the kill to this one, but uh, that didn't quite work. Let's go this. Ah, okay, that is apparently not the last one. Then do I have to kill all units or all enemies or enemy leaders? I mean, or more like, will they keep spawning or whatever? Is there another one down here? I mean, there are obviously enemies down here, but is there an enemy leader? I'm confused. Anyway, let's get another healer. Interesting! The units on my recall list are also harmed by that spell. Let's see if I recall one of them, if they... Yep, with reduced health. That is awkward. I do not have Waken. Oh, this one had a smaller castle, interesting. Byron. Forest Nymph. Let's keep going. I really hope that they will not just... I don't know that they will not just keep okay so oh no it's obvious enough that there there is one enemy leader okay there's one more enemy leader down there which is news to me but and as long as they are around as long the enemies will keep spawning and with that in mind, I will kind of adjust uh, where I go, because, for example, I sent my healer over there, because I didn't know where to go, and that is... And I also expected the whole time that it would be over as soon as I kill this one. That was obviously not the case. Okay, no vacant tiles. Fair, fair enough. Um, die. Duh. Yeah, there they are. At least one of them. I hope it is the last of them, but I have. I don't think I can tell for sure. Oh, they they. That is also some news that they actually go out to attack me. In that case, I'm of course not sending one of them there. Like, as you can see, that's suicide. But yeah, everything else I can just repeat. Yeah, 
Yeah, I do not want to tangle with that one personally. Uh, oh. Keep going. I wonder if my units can die. I mean, they are getting close by now. Like, this has been 12 damage so far, so... I suppose something like 4 damage per turn. I'm honestly not clear on how long this has been happening so far. Could they reach? No, they couldn't. In that case, let's go there. Okay, there's no enemy over there. The one there, I don't know. Okay. Uh, let's keep running. Also, I don't know if these, when they spawn, do they spawn on the enemy turn or on, or on my turn? That would be kind of relevant to know. Okay, they spawn on my turn. That is good. I like that. And first of all, let's... Okay, no. I think it's important that I kill this one before I skip to any uh, cutscene. So let's just pretend we never saw that happening and let's go. Okay, I got lots of lots of feelers. I need this guy, uh, I need Talia to slow them for me. That's for sure. Uh, Yes. Oh, that hurts. Hang in there. Yeah, first of all, let's heal her. Like this is this is an amazing tool, honestly. An amazing tool. Ouch. That hurt. Ow! That was dump of me. First of all, yes, Talia needs to be healed. Second of all, Talia is not the only unit I have that can heal others, so... Maybe I should try to take advantage of that. Yeah, I think I have a decent chance to blow them without being killed. Oh, I see, there were some, um, what was the name? Night Stalking uh, Undead. Nice. They're gone now, okay. I guess with those demons gone, the Undead have nothing to sustain them anymore. Looks like it. Nice. I can live with that. Okay, and in a moment we will find out what exactly cutscene is, but for now I'm just happy with uh, having survived that onslaught. Let's see. Oh boy. What the hell? Oh? Where did a fairy like you come from? The others were supposed to guard the entrance. Sorry, but we took care of them already. You're next. A battle is not necessary. Turn back and we will not pursue you. Pursue you. Too bad. I'm looking for my friend and somehow I doubt that going back is going to help me find her. And something tells me you're not going to just let us p get past you either. You would jeopardize our operation. Leave. No. If you wish to fight, I will have no choice but to eradicate you. Your pathetic little pets won't stop us. Again, defeat all enemies. So, how is there anyone who would maybe like to take a bet on whether maybe or not 
just just maybe like I don't know there might or might not be some night gods on those castle tiles that seem to be empty I'm like if anyone wants to bet I'm I'm game just saying anyone no didn't think so Oh, come on, really? Why am I supposed to be the unlucky one there? Actually, I can do this matter. Like, I was aware and I should have uh, prepared for that. Uh, what I can simply do is something like this. Like, a Night God can get here, but... Well, won't gain much out of it. We'll just... Eat a lot of damage. Like a night gaunt cannot kill one of my spectres. The really interesting part is uh, whether or not they can recruit new spectres afterwards. Okay, so maybe there were no night gaunts, but that doesn't math. You know, okay, that was a dump risk. Let's pretend I didn't take it. Um, like I've got Talia, so. Nice. Then, honestly, let's see. Is, is there really nothing over here? There they are, so... Oh, I get the chance to hit thrice only once. I see I uh, grabbed some really strong upgrade and uh, now the other strong upgrades are no longer available. Okay, yeah, that doesn't look like a good idea. Oh! Apparently this doesn't work against Undead. I also apparently forgot about that. In Anyway, what will happen now, I wonder? Also, is this one one of those that will attack or not? What is the composition? Oh, what? This unit will reduce hit points of nearby enemies in half within a radius of four of each new turn. What the hell? Like, one, two, one, two, three, four, like, up to here, I guess? Okay, what kind of sorcery is this? I didn't know normal demons could get that powerful. Definitely can't underestimate her. Yeah, so much for that. Anyway, um, like literally half my uh, hit points. No thanks. In that case, I mean I can just recruit units, so why not do that not now? Like, uh. Mow their army down before I do anything else. I mean, I can not recruit units, but I can recall a couple of units, and that will be quite helpful. Sure, they need to be healed first, but uh, whatever. Right, I have uh, I have a lawyer white mage, so let's take them. Okay, so the good part is the f what? Why would you do that? I mean, come on! What? Like the only good thing about this is uh, is that they do not uh, trigger their passive. Sorry, I just sneeze. Uh, that they do not trigger the passive during uh, their own turn uh, or when my turn starts. At the same time, I know I'm so much trouble once their turn starts. Ouch. 
first of all remove those guys, as many of them as possible. Actually all of them, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. As I say, it shouldn't be, uh, doesn't mean it won't be. Once I've done that, remove this guy. Okay, remove this guy first, I guess. Should have expected that. Ah, snap. Yeah. Okay, this guy stays on offensive. And the same, uh, interesting. Like, I don't know yet if this is a... I mean, it's probably a bad thing for me because, as you can see, they completely trashed my army. Actually, what kind of unit did I lose there? A forest nymph. Uh, a lawyer forest nymph, to be precise, which sucks. What kind of damages do they even tolerate? Okay, and basically anything except arcane goes. Problem is, I mostly have arcane damage, at least on Aya, which is my strongest damage dealer. Okay, I've maneuvered, I've maneuvered myself into a, let's say, really bad situation, and in that case, I just gotta go back a turn, two turns to be precise to avoid this happening, like. Damn, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We can go up to there, and meaning I treat beyond this. Is this correct? Okay, one more one more. And I should be fine, sort of. I mean this is still a pretty messed up situation. Yeah, I also need honestly just some time to recover from all the harming uh, the previous demons did. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I have a mage of light. I had no idea. I completely forgotten about that guy. Anyway, this should give me much needed ti a time to just reset what stuff, what kind of stuff I have. Kind of amount of health I have available. Okay. Okay, there's apparently no shadow running around right now. I can live with that. Um, Okay, this looks fine. This is fine. Of course, this will also give them time to uh, spawn more of those guys. Uh, but uh, the premise is always that I know better how to use units than them. So that's also okay. Then. One more turn because I need to heal this one preferably. Yeah, this is damage, whatever. This is uh, actually the kind of damage I can pretty easily heal off. This guy is the one. Get. Actually, she is almost healed, so uh, not as supported as I thought it was. Ah, more of them. Whatever. This one is willing to attack, then I will just slow them and then pile on them. And I think that could actually work. Probably. But I think it's a good chance. 
Let's see. Yes, he's willing to attack. Perfect. Oh, that's why he was willing to attack. Anyway, let's remove the nonetheless. Uh, this one goes to slow this guy. I probably should have recalled an L unit that's not loyal that it can also slow, but it is what it is right now. Um, let's remove this one first. Actually, how much damage would this one deal? Oh yeah, okay, then give the, give the kill to this one instead. And I messed up by moving the forest mem too far away to attack afterwards. So, this. Like, just optimizing some XP in the meantime. Um, this one is neutral, so... Ranges of Light won't do anything about it. What are my odds? My odds are pretty bad. And I was lucky to survive that. Okay, and I'm gonna go do this now. Because... It's pretty strong. Pierce... As you can see, uh, this reduces their life, Im like their resistance immensely, the physical resistance at least, uh, meaning I can indeed do a lot of things with that. Really how much damage would that deal? Still only one, whatever. Yeah, just want to guarantee that kill. Yes. Gotcha. Now you're going to answer some questions for me. Uh, before she does that, I need to drink something. Also, as you can see, we are not even halfway through the map for now, so I guess I'm gonna need a bit longer to stream this campaign than I thought. Am I? Yes, you are. I want to know everything about the blue demons, why they are attacking us, who sent them. I'm afraid I know nothing about that. I was sent here to investigate as well. She's not lying. Who sent you? What is your purpose in coming here? You will find out in due course. Suffice to say, we need not be enemies for the moment. He's the one who attacked us first. Hey, where do you think you're going? Ah, uh, that was strange. Are you sure she wasn't lying? She wasn't. It looks like there might be multiple demon factions at work here. That's just great. As if the blue demons and the ones from Ephia weren't enough, now these, these weird multi-element ones, multi ones show up. Whatever. These new ones aren't, weren't really here to fight us. It looks like we just caught them in the middle of whatever they were doing. We can't worry about them right now. Anxious to go find Yumi, huh? Yes. It stalled us for long enough already, so let's go. The gate has been lowered. Okay, that is pretty cool. That is... Not a number? When you... Oh! Oh! Now that is... That is pretty rad. But it, uh, 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 this is also pretty cool. Okay, so this one gives me more health. I suppose neither of them in does anything. Lord, It looks funny. Just give me a moment. 140... It's probably because she is in the middle of modification, I suppose. Like 147 of 71 XP, yeah, right. Anyway, um... That is cool, but on the other hand, she deals kinda too much damage to actually leave standing around. So, um... Like, I can't use her as a tank, not reliably at least, because everyone that attacks is probably gonna die instantly, so the trade fusion won't really work. While protecting other units on defense is interesting.
Okay, also, yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, this... intentional? This doesn't make any sense to me, like, why are the XP numbers so low now? Like, am I, I don't know, restarting my... I don't know, uh, my, my advancing tree? Like, oh, something about this really reset my numbers. Like, see? Uh, Talia did not level up right now. Uh, but she also has really low experience. I'm confused. Like, was this the case before I beat the boss as well or not? No? Okay, for her it was the case. And then this is... I s oh, right, she suddenly had just long enough. So basically after a huge upgrade, the numbers reset, or go down. Maybe? I'm not sure. Like, if, if that's the case, as, as long as it's not a bug, I, I think it's fine. I just don't know yet if it's a bug or not, which is why I'm so confused. Also, I didn't notice it. What is over there? Is there anything over there? Huh. One sec. Let's see how far this, uh, how far down this goes. Throws a pebble. I mean, that's classic. Big. Long way down. Uh, sure we want to go? I have a feeling we'll find Yumi down there. Probably is there too. They'll need us. And I need to apologize to you. Okay. Let's get going then. Switch back to Yumi? Yep, switch back to Yumi. If it's just another puzzle, then um, I'm gonna do it. Then I save and then I will break, make the break for the day because the one hour is over. If it's something else, I'll have to decide. I'm alone. No. Someone's coming? Thank goodness, I finally caught up. Yumi? Why the long face? This is about Ayo, isn't it? Eh. Yeah. We can't stay. They are coming. Yumi, you are avoiding the question. Oh snap. Okay. I see that you are being serious. Those things look really dangerous. I really ought to avoid those void areas. Even so, can we talk while we find a way out? Eh. So yeah, this is not a puzzle, this is not something I will be able to solve in a couple of moments. So in that case I won't. I'm saving here and I will continue next time. Probably, like, obviously next week and uh, I've thinking about streaming uh, twice a week now um, so probably on Thursday or Tuesday I think Thursday for now thanks for watching especially this one viewer that apparently stayed the whole time or maybe it was a different one I don't know anyway thanks for watching and See you next time.